Hello Leos. Jumping out there already guys. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. This reading is for March 30th through April 1st. This is for my Leos in love, regarding love. Let's see what's going on with my Leos. First card we have out is a King of Pentacles. Mm, I'm getting that you guys are looking for somebody here. Okay. Um, somebody that you feel is, that wants the same thing that you want, basically, okay? Somebody that wants to be committed, um, maybe knows exactly what they want and how to get it, okay? There we have it. <clears throat> Two of Cups there. Definitely want somebody that you feel at home with. Somebody that um, you share a special connection with. Feelings are mutual. Okay. Somebody that you can have reciprocity with and that you can grow with. Okay. You guys can care for each other. It's definitely what you're looking for. Um, maybe, again, you guys are looking for... And I, I'm feeling like this message is a repeated message for a message for you guys that I have delivered time and time again but um, Aries is showing up in your reading a lot could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn cancer individual as well but this is definitely somebody I feel like um, has not turned their back on the connection but really is looking for the same thing that you guys are looking for but I don't know if they know how you feel okay so what I'm getting is that they really this may be somebody that either that is new to you guys somebody that you're definitely familiar with but um, somebody that does not know how you guys feel so they're not looking at this connection seriously I feel like there is some sort of relationship or situation between the two of you this may be somebody that also is um, far away from you guys here okay let's see the nine of wands somebody that's been through a whole lot of shit okay um, and now they're strictly looking for what they feel like you know is gonna bring them you know their ultimate happiness their knight in shining armor or their princess or whatever you want to say that person that is for them is what they're looking for they don't have time for the bullshit whoever this is Sagittarian energy there um, but this is definitely a go-getter this is somebody that likes to travel um, most definitely Let's see. Please show me more about the King of Pentacles. Please show me more about the King of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. There's a lot that you guys are thinking about. I, I feel like you have these ruminating thoughts about this connection with this individual. Um, I think you talk yourself out of situations a lot. I think that um, you probably think that this will never be or this person won't see you in a, in a certain light. Um, but with the Nine of Swords, you know, that energy a lot of times is only in your head. Okay. There's no factual base to it. Okay. So stop that. Cut that out. Please show me more about the Two of Cups. Please show me more about the Two of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. You're hopeful. You're hopeful that this person, um, that they're, you know, you guys have mutual feelings here. You're hopeful that this person will want to invest in this situation. That you guys can um, build on something here. And I'm definitely getting that you guys want something that you can grow. Um, a very committed situation is what you're aiming for. Please show me more about the Three of Wands. Judgment. You're hoping that this person will give this another chance. So this is definitely somebody from, I feel like, your past. Um, something that you share, somebody that you share, share a history with. My gosh. Um, definitely somebody that you share a history with. 
There has been time spent here. There have been seeds planted here. Um, you guys may also have a child together since I mentioned seeds planted. Um, or children. I'm getting definitely, you know, you're very resourceful. Um, but I think, you know, you just need to probably stop overthinking the situation here because that's what I see you doing. Okay. You're wondering if this person's going to give this another chance. Can you guys revive this situation? A situation. Start again. Start over. Please show me more about the Nine of Wands. The Moon. You guys have a lot of deep feelings for this person, but I don't think that you've revealed anything yet. Okay. And there's a need for you guys to see things clearly here with this Nine of Swords energy. Most definitely. There's a lot that you have not revealed to this person, and there is a lot I feel like they have not revealed to you too. I think that they may be oblivious to how you truly feel. There's a conversation I feel that needs to be had here. Okay. What energy is coming in for Leo? What energy is coming in for Leo? What energy is coming in for Leo? The tower. Hmm. Maybe there is a breakup that is about to happen or some sort of shocking news maybe even a home change maybe you guys actually need to move in order to be with this person or communicate with this person um but the top the tower could be you know definitely a move a sudden move um, or sudden news something that happens suddenly but there is a foundation that is not solid here. There's a shakeup coming for you guys. There's a shakeup. Let's see what else. The Six of Wands. I definitely see you guys disconnecting from something that you feel like it's not working or it's not growing. There's nothing there um not really nothing there but there's not enough there there's something that you guys are walking away from that i feel like it's not serving you any longer and i'm feeling like this is this is either a connection or um or these ruminating thoughts that you're feeling whatever it is i feel you being successful here i feel you um attaining your your harmony your balance success in this situation definitely six of pentacles there somebody you definitely want to work with i'm feeling like you're disconnecting from someone or a situation Feel you definitely doing that. Um, I see you speaking your piece. I see you still being on guard though here. I see you want to give to somebody. Share your time and energy with somebody. But there's also a situation that you guys are disconnecting from. There's something that happens that shakes up you know your thought processes um something that your belief system shakes it up tears it down because it's faulty but i definitely see you being successful after that happens okay with the six of pentacles falling under the tower it's like there was something that was not working somebody was giving more to a situation than the other person and maybe because the person that was giving more actually leaves the situation 
but there's all there's also a sense that you guys are wanting to share with someone else or someone in general and you realize that but also realizing that you know you have to come forward and tell the truth here still being a little leery though okay so we have um, Gemini Libra Aquarius Taurus energies here Scorpio Aries is here um, Sagittarius Cancer Gemini mm -hmm. could be another Taurus um, not Taurus but um, another Leo like yourselves Capricorn could be here Virgo could be here as well. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.